Liverpool fans, rejoice. Mohamed Salah is here to stay, for now. But as the transfer saga unfolded, it became clear that Liverpool must have a contingency plan for next summer. Jurgen Klopp and John W. Henry, Liverpool's manager and principal owner, made it clear that no amount of money would make them sell Salah. But history has shown us that Liverpool's resistance eventually gives way to reality when faced with extraordinary offers and hostile tactics from players and their representatives. Just look at the departures of Philippe Coutinho and Luis Suarez. So, while Liverpool may have won this battle, the war is far from over. The Saudi pursuit of Sulla is relentless, and they will surely come knocking again next summer when conditions are more favourable for Liverpool to sell. And let's not forget, Sulla will be turning 32 with just a year left on his contract. A £150 million bid at that point will feel like a lottery win for Liverpool. That's why Liverpool must start planning for the future now. They need to identify a replacement for Sulla on the right wing, perhaps someone who will be ready by the start of the 2025-26 season when Sulla's contract runs out. And if circumstances dictate, they should be prepared to react sooner. But losing Sulla would also have immediate consequences. Liverpool's chances of returning to the Champions League would diminish, and the financial rewards that come with it would be at risk. Plus, finding a suitable replacement within 48 hours of a £150 million bid is nearly impossible. Other clubs would inflate their asking prices, and Liverpool would be left scrambling. And let's not forget the impact on the team. Sulla's absence would undermine the promising start to the season and invite criticism of Fenway Sports Group for prioritizing profits over ambition. So, turning down £150 million next summer would require Liverpool to think with their hearts rather than their brains. However, we shouldn't assume that the Sulla story will follow the same script as Suarez and Coutinho. Sulla has shown professionalism and respect for Liverpool's decision, unlike his predecessors who reacted with hostility. Sulla is a team player, despite the occasional moans, and his determination to keep taking penalties. Liverpool's decision to resist the Saudi bid has sent a strong message. They have shown that resistance is not futile and that Sulla will only leave on their terms and timeline. The Saudis may have unlimited wealth and ambition, but they still lack a football project tempting enough for a world-class player like Sulla. So, Liverpool fans, enjoy Sulla's presence while you can. But be prepared for the future. Liverpool must have a contingency plan in place, ready to navigate the twists and turns of the transfer market. Because in the end, it's not about the money. It's about building a team that can continue to compete at the highest level.